All right, welcome back. This is Dog, and we are checking out Police Shoot Shootout. Police Shootout just released on Steam as of June 1st, I believe. This is June 2nd. Uh, at least that's according to what it lists on Steam. So I always enjoy a good police simulation, which, frankly, there aren't that many that you can say are both police simulations and good. There's been a couple okay ones, I guess. Um, so all I've done with this is the training, and then I did do part of the first mission and realized that the recording wasn't... Um, recording correctly it was on like a really high graphics level and so anyway that was messing with my obs so we're going to start the first mission again i've already seen a little bit of it but we're going to go through this again and uh, let you experience it with me and we'll see how long that takes maybe we'll um i don't know do one mission per video and get through a few missions just so we can get a feel for what this game is like and if it's something that you might enjoy all right let's jump in we're going to skip through training training is very brief and minimal um, so let's jump right in. The chief says you're stubborn as a mule. So it's pretty cool. There's a little story going on. Uh, for, even from what I've played, I can tell there's a little bit of a story, and, and some of that is, is expressed through our interactions with the captain. Wait, what's your name? Price, right? Scott Price? Whatever. I'm Captain David Summers. Apparently you wanted to move to us yourself. What is it? What are you looking for here? What, you're not going to say? Okay, not really my business. There's a report, a fender bender or something. Check the system and get to work. I'm out of here. Okay, so really unusual uh, first mission here. So this is just teaching us the basics on how we can choose what mission we want to go to and we're ready to come back to the headquarters. We click on the green symbol there. So. Uh, I think the only mission available to us, I don't, it doesn't even look like we can move the map currently. Scroll in or out, so I don't know if that changes, but we can go to the parking lot. Wait, Brawl, that's a different first mission, what? Okay. All right, there's a computer and a first aid kit. Computer gives you a little bit more information about what you're dealing with. First aid kit allows you to heal one time. Okay. This is the same mission. Sorry. It just, I thought it was a car accident. It is. Parking collision outside a supermarket, San Andrino. Collision report in the parking lot outside a local supermarket involving the incident two people. At this point, we can't do anything else with the computer. So we get out of the car and then we just come over and look at this. Um, first of all, let's let them know we're here. Dispatch, show me 1023. So look at this scrapage. Yikes. I don't see any way around the fact that the person in the blue car would have to be at fault here, right? It, clearly, you backed into the green car as the green car was moving forward and just scraped as it continued to move a little bit. Uh, it's just hard for me to see it another way. Jacob reported it. What actually happened, Jacob? I was pulling out of the parking lot and this gentleman drove into me. <laughs> gentleman. And slammed right into my car. All right. But you're okay, right? Oh, come on. It's just a fender bender, basically a scratch. But the guy won't admit it's his fault. That's why I had to call. Alright then, get your papers ready while I talk to the other gentleman. Good evening. You've heard enough, haven't you? That I'm responsible for this mess? <sighs> what a guy. Just take it easy, tell me what actually happened. This man is more fortunate than smart and should never have passed his driving test. It's good that it was late and there weren't many cars in the parking lot, so I barely hit him, but you know, it's a waste of my nerves anyway, right? Yeah, sure, you know, I have to report it in anyway. Fill out the paperwork, so get your paperwork ready and we'll talk soon. Sure, you got it. Shots fired. There were several shots fired at a local supermarket. I'm going inside to assess the situation. Copy that back up on the way. Gunshots during routine work. I heard gunshots coming from inside the supermarket. So one thing I just want to say, it's kind of cool. Like Usually when you have these police simulators, it starts very slow, very monotonous, trying to replicate what it would be like to actually be a police officer, correct? So um, I think it's interesting how this one is jumping into a very intense first mission, and I like that they sort of disguised it in a uh, in a little fender bender and now all of a sudden realize something else is going on here. 
police. Help me, please. My daughter was left in the store. I ran out as soon as they started shooting. I was sure she was right behind me, but... Calm down. I'll find your daughter. When the shots were fired, did you see her again? Yes. She was with me. I started to run for the exit. I turned around and... She was gone. Please find her before they get her. Besides the fact they fired, do you know anything else? I'm so sorry. I don't know. I'm so scared for my Camille. So we're always going to have little um, evidence that we're popping up as we interview people. I don't see anyone else to talk to, nor do I necessarily see anything else we can uh, interact with out here. We can look in and see. All right, so there's a dead body, or I say a dead body. There's somebody down on the floor there, and then there's a gentleman here. So maybe we talk to them. So it's, you know, it, this, <laughs> this is getting to replayability, at least mission by mission. I've just done the mission. So unless they, uh, you know, change things around, I will know at least most of the way through kind of like what's going on. One thing I did notice from my first playthrough of the mission when I thought the recording was happened is that I ended up getting in a gunfight with each of the uh, bad guys here. And I think they're, the game is trying to get you to use ways to distract them or um, basically subdue them without having to fight them. But at least in this one, it seemed like it was really going to be difficult to do that. But we'll, we'll see if I can figure something out. We can hold control to to, uh, cr to crouch. Please don't speak out loud. They're still here. All right, Bob. The attackers. Yeah. They're going around for someone else to shoot. Have you seen the little girl? What? A girl? I don't know. No, I don't think I saw her. But someone definitely ran into the restroom. Anything else? The longer we talk, the more likely they are to find us. How many? I saw two. But they were shouting to someone else. Two shouting to someone else, so maybe Their three. Boss is a psycho. Their boss. He didn't even blink when he shot the guy who tried to stop him. He just punched a hole right through him. So much blood. Anything else? The longer we talk, the more likely they are to find us. Are you alright? Okay. I hid. Do you think I can get out of here? I'm afraid they'll see me and Don't move for oh, now, it's not boy. safe yet. Alright. How do I if I move out of here, aren't they going to shoot at me? Like I'll come I back to you when it's safe. All right. So anything I can do. So right around the corner here, we're going to see the first bad guy. I just don't know. Let's see if there's a way to sneak up here. Hey. A cop? You think the Detroit bosses are afraid of it's dogs? It's just so quick. So there is like a, a, a skill system here and you can increase the amount of time it takes a bad guy to notice you or whatever. This obviously was not the right angle. Drop the gun and get down. All right, so the fight has been started. Okay, so yeah, I think we have to engage with him now. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can shoot his hand. We'll try something a little different here. Oh, crap. Um, it's not the best cover, is it? We'll try it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's really... He's just running back and forth. He's, like, pretty confused about how to get to us. Well, I hate to have to kill the suspect, but he was shooting at me. Or had a gun pulled on me, I guess. Alright. So let's reload our gun. Alright, there's going to be the next bad guy over there, right? Um, so, one thing we can do is just go confirm this suspect is dead. Let's go ahead and call in the fact that there's dead civilians. We need to get back up we need to get an ambulance that guy was talking about the mafia he's he's a local troublemaker nothing major certainly no connections to people in Detroit there was talk of the robbery just rumors all right suspect is dead we're sending the coroner and this is the restroom but we don't have a key 
One thing that I think is a little unfortunate about the game, and I know that it would sort of, it, it would break the way they're laying out these missions, but like when things like this are on the floor, you know, you can't jump or move past them, which just is a little bit immersion breaking to me, but it is what it is. All right, we can also, the warehouse is closed as well. We have like 11 clues real quick that we need to go through. So the reason why the clues are important is eventually in, at least in some missions, you will get to a negotiation point. Okay, he almost saw us. And once that happens, then you have to use the clues that you've already gathered. Uh-oh, shoot, okay. Don't do anything stupid. Oh goodness. All right. Well. All right, another dead civilian. The police? Jesus, finally. Help me. He's not breathing. Ambulance is on his way. What? No, he's just a customer. He comes here a lot and today shit. Do you work yes, here? I fix what's broken and if it works, I make sure it keeps working. I went out to check one of the refrigerators, and it started. You don't even know. It's a living hell. No, no. I saw this guy talking on the phone. He looked like he was gonna shit his pants. You know, scared. And then when he finished talking, he pulled out a gun and started shooting. I don't know, come on. All I know is they're a bunch of amateurs for sure. They were fighting with each other like a bunch of kids. One of them kept asking for money, and the boss told him to shut up. Do you have a key to the restroom? Wait, sir. I got it. I got it. Here you go, sir. I generally have most of the keys to the locks in the store. I need to do it in the warehouse, but it's locked. I can help you. The manager has the key to the warehouse. What? What do you mean? Do you want me to stay? Good. All right. We told him he can get out. Second suspect killed. Another dead civilian. Make sure we get all these guns secured. All right, here's the manager back here, it looks like. Looks like you're saving my life. Thank you work here? Store manager. I have information that two or three people are responsible for this mess. Two of them off the hook and the third the head of the whole party he's locked himself in the warehouse who knows what he's looking for in there how do i get there as you walked through the store did you see those big double doors in the middle of the room you can go through them this one here also leads to the back room but the key's gone i don't have it and i don't think richard has it as well the big ones yes yes there you go just be careful huh the guy was sharp are you hurt? No, I I'm fine. I got... I just don't know what they wanted. It's not about the they cash. They came by, made a fuzz. They didn't even touch Ambulance the cash. Ambulance is on his way. Really, I'm fine. Do you recognize the attackers? I know the boss. He's been in the shop a few times, but never What is going them. on? I heard him on the phone talking about... Some they didn't take money. Up. They're not a part don't of the mafia. Ask me what, because I have no idea. Oh, they're picking the something up. supposed to be in our warehouse. We don't so we need to find... Anything there ex you drugs? Ask me, I'll ask you. Uh, maybe? What else is there? I'm sure some... All right. Thank you very much again. No way. All right, well, at least you're not in handcuffs anymore. Um, yeah, we're already at full health. If we weren't at full health, we could use the uh, first aid kit there. How do I know that? Because I was not at full health <laughs> last time. Uh, it's gone a little more smoothly this time, although I still don't see how we could possibly sneak up on these. Uh-oh. Hey, what are you doing here? Goodness. You're losing ground, Morgan. Your people are out of my hair. You want to talk to me like a human being and try to end this farce without bloodshed? <laughs> you make me laugh so hard, I'm going to listen to what you have to say. 
All right, so this is where, and we're not timed on this, we just have to figure out, based on all the information we've gathered, what is the best uh, best interrogation cards? And so you can click on it and you can see we're missing some information. So I don't know if it's possible for us to have that information. I guess it is. So we've missed talking to some people. But we're going to choose a card that we feel like most represents the situation. So we can call him a lousy leader and at least say that the witness saw that the suspect's associate seemed to be annoyed. I know you wanted to play them for money. They were upset, so the choice is simpler. You either give me someone bigger than yourself or talk to them and I'll talk to them and settle for you. Okay, so that was a good chosen argument. Next, we know that they weren't robbing the store for a fast buck. We know that the Detroit Mafia is not really involved. So we're going to go with ruthless guy. The suspect killed the first civilian at the supermarket. You don't have any boundaries, do you? Kill without blinking an eye. Robbery. You go in and cause a major shit show. All right, so that was a perfectly chosen argument. The problem is we didn't gather enough information. If we had more information on those cards, it could have pushed it into the blue and we could have just arrested him. But we didn't, and neither one of these are going to be true. That's just going to make him angrier, so we just finished the First negotiation. You laugh, and now you pissed me off. I don't like... Uh, uh. Oh, he missed us. Why don't we go here? Interesting. All right, he's running. We'll go here now. We're at least in cover. Fight's over. Let's get his gun. Again, if we had gotten a little bit more information, so I don't know who we were supposed to talk to, but obviously we were supposed to talk to more people. Um, I think there's supposed to be something in here, right? Oh, look over here. So at least it's kind of highlighted what you're supposed to collect. Collect three packs of drugs. Oh, it actually says what it is oh you know what if we had gone and rescued the people first we could have gotten more dialogue from them right am i missing one i must be missing one all right let's go rescue the other people um we can radio it in and there's drugs. All right, and we don't really need to look at the clues anymore because we're good. All right, we're opening up the door now that we have the key. Find the little girl. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Take it easy. I'm a police officer. I ran away, but I was so scared. So she would have told us he was shooting at her, right? So we would have known that information. That's good. Can I go to her now? All right, she's out of here. And we know that... What's the situation? Is it safe yet? Oh, thank you very much. All right, so now he's out of here too. I think that's everybody uh, that we can s rescue. Although I guess we could go see, now that everybody's clear... If we can talk the uh, owner into leaving, or did he already leave? No. Is it over? It's safe now. <sighs> First, I need to cool off. So there's supposedly one more pack of drugs, and I just don't know if I'll be able to find it. If we don't see it pretty quickly here, we'll just take off without it. Um, I don't know. So we saw two of them. They were highlighted. It's not like it was hard to, it would have been hard to miss them, you know? I mean, we're looking on all the shelves. I guess they don't have to be on the shelves. Wish I could like search his person. So it apparently was about drugs. I, I was kind of confused about that, but 
if we found two out of the three packs of drugs, we'll just let somebody else come in here and find the third because we're not going to waste any more time. You're a real hero. All right, there's Richard. There's Camilla. You saved me. I was afraid I wouldn't see my... Okay. Thank you so much. I was so scared for her. I really... Thank you. Don't go yet. We need of your course. testimony. All righty. What happened out there? I don't think anybody's gonna... You know, not gonna shoot me, huh? Everything is under control. Lucky I got out of the... Wait, wait, wait. Captain Summer. We'll talk. I went through your file, and I know everything, Price. You're here looking for a brother who disappeared a while back, right? Cool. We're looking for a brother. Look, I don't usually get involved in stuff like this, but focus on the job, huh? I'm giving you good advice, Price. Give it a rest. There are people working on it. You know that rule about a surgeon not cutting on himself? Yeah. Seriously. There's some go. There's some translation slash voice acting issues, when but you're done here, get your ass to the police station. It's still pretty cool, I have to admit. Alright. Complete the mission. I think we've we've done enough. So it immediately tells us on the computer here. So we have a penalty because we We um killed all three suspects. We didn't arrest any suspects, obviously, because we killed them all, and we missed one thing of drugs. So we're only really getting 52% completion. One thing I did see in the tutorial, though, is that you can redo a mission. The situation was contained by one police officer. As a PR spokesman for the local police told us yesterday, situation at supermarket was a result of a they play these games, they watch Nolix, and then everyone thinks they can be like Danny Ocean or another John Dillinger. I'm for a media ban and I'll vote for it. A police officer, a hero to a mom and her daughter. So, I guess we got to skill level one we have one available skill point so all of these seem like really good skills the thing is I don't really want to have to go through every mission uh, fighting or sh it was shootouts just I'd rather it not have to go that way so one of these sneaking ones might be best I feel like the negotiations and the fighting yes that stuff would be helpful so we either want to reduce noise or opponents need more time to detect you. Oh, you start the mission with one stun gun bullet. That actually would be cool. That would actually be cool. But I think I'll do this first. Reduce, reduce, reduce noise area when moving. All right, so now we have the parking lot brawl. So that's the one we've already accomplished. But again, we can do it again if we want to, possibly, I guess, to get more XP. I don't know hostage at the station and stalker at the motel or we can go back to the menu and then this is the main menu where we can just continue okay so let's stop there for now that's a quick uh, quick little look at the first mission post training of police shootout so let me know what you think i you know it's definitely got some parts of it that's fun that's interesting um, i'm not sure about replayability yet and i do think there's some like you know um Things that are a little bit annoying, like the way you move around, the, the barriers where you feel like you're kind of being led to a specific approach. Uh, but again, that was the first mission. There could very well be more freedom in future missions, so we'll see. But anyway, as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.